Coney 2012. Make Coney famous. What more can I say? And seriously, as you may have seen, I completely just scrapped my intro to say that, to start this video off, because I don't know about all of you, but I'm sure many of you have seen that video, because in my opinion, now this is probably completely wrong, but this is one of the biggest videos I've ever seen that has gone viral so fast. That is the word that I was looking for, viral. One of those videos that spreads to everyone instantly. It, it was it was uploaded on the 5th of March, 450,000 likes. And we all know likes mean nothing, but that video was ridiculous. Like, a, I, I'm speechless right now, but I've watched that video three or three and a half, three, four times. Seriously, I've watched it three or four. That guy just said straight away, Coney 2012. Let me just turn this off so I can concentrate. But if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'm not going to put it in the description because no one will click it. I'm going to tell you right now, search it, YouTube, Coney 2012, watch it before watching this video. And the only reason I'm not linking the, the description is because no one's going to watch it if it's in the description. You're not going to bother clicking. But those that may want to see it will actually bother to type it in. And if they're going to bother to type it in, they're going to watch that video. Video in, link in the description, no one's going to watch it. Seriously, that's just how it works. I mean, yeah, search Coney 2012, like that guy. You should know how to spell it. Before even people have watched this video, people have probably commented Coney 2012. I mean, I've done that. I've commented just Coney 2012, make Coney famous on multiple YouTube videos. Just, just, I'm, I'm, I'm not off the top rated comment. I'm just posting it because make Coney famous. That's all I'm going to say. Search it and then watch this video. But what's going on, guys? But yeah, welcome to another skilling vlog by me. And I apologize that I did not upload one yesterday. I did get sidetracked because I had a dungeoneering team that were keying such fast floors that I really did not want to leave. And I did kind of put that as a priority over the video. So I definitely apologize for that because I had no video for Wednesday anyway, so I could just move it over a day. And then this Coney thing got me, boom, like the perfect thing to talk about. But um, if you still have, if you've minimized the screen or you haven't minimized it yet then um, quickly want to do my stats update before you can all minimize it and then um, you can go to your skilling and such and put down the XP rates that I'm about to kill you but okay that didn't sound right I'm about to kill you but um, only thing that's changed really since the last one is I don't even know probably 92 fishing now coming up to 93 as well and 102 dungeoneering coming up to 103 dungeoneering uh, everything else is the same runecrafting hunter thieving agility mining all the same I'm not working on those skills I think I'm getting 120 dunge as my next skill 99 fishing should be next 120 dunge should be after that because i want to scale in that dunge cape and have people follow me like whoa and i'll be like yeah i'm so awesome <laughs> i don't even know why i just said that but yeah that's a stats update feel free to minimize the video now if you want oh, finally got my thing ornamented i've had that for like I've, I, since the day that came out i was like furious looks sick i only bought that maybe a week ago i actually finally managed to buy it but yeah that's not part of this vlog but a few things to talk about first thing of course Coney 2012. If you actually did just pause this video and watch it, thoughts, post them in the show. I'd love to see any thoughts that anyone has on this video. And I'm going to talk about my thoughts. Now, I have watched this four times and I've watched, I've read maybe over 500 comments on the video itself as they refresh. They, they refresh at the speed of light. It's like literally one comment a second. Like you can't read them all, but I've read a fair few of them. So, so I don't know why I've watched it four times. I just have. I thought that video was incredible. It was really, really well put together. There is, I mean, I could kind, you could kind of tell it was kind of acted in places, but I don't know that. For all I know, it could be completely real, offhand, turn the recorder on, as to say, asks his child the question, but um, some of it has to be acted. But the video itself, perfection. You, you really couldn't, that video was just, I've watched it four times, that says how good I thought that video was. I'm, I'm sure some of you are like, probably didn't watch it all, probably got bored or something, but... Yeah, um, so first thing I'm going to cover, so if you don't actually know what Coney 2012 is, it's a guy, I don't want to pronounce, don't even want to say his name, Coney, let's call him, let's just call him Coney, um, down in uh, Uganda, like, you know what, I don't even want to go into it, If watch the video, that will tell you everything a lot better than I could put it through to you, seriously, even if you love listening to my voice, everything is just going to go through one ear and out the other watch the video if you want the details but it is about this group that has actually been around for a very long time and it's called invisible children 
and you should know about this now if you've seen the video you will know about it and before I can guarantee 95% of the people watching this video had no clue about this until that video me included I had no idea in the slightest this guy even existed on the planet until this video and then I find out he's the number one most wanted person in the world and I didn't know about this! Mate, you should just send me off to go find him. I'll find him like a minute, mate. You know what? High prime. I'm running around everywhere. But really, shouldn't be making a joke out of this. I apologise. But what I'm trying to say is, if you want if you want details, watch the video. I'm not going to give you the full details here because I do a, probably a really bad job. There's no point in me even trying to... The, the, the video, is everything is there. But um, the video is about a group, really, that is just looking for support against this guy to make this guy famous so that he can get arrested quickly and stop all these child soldiers and murders and stuff like that. I really don't want to go into this with such a grim topic, but I just want to... The video is asking you to spread it everywhere, and instantly... I mean, I've got just under 13,000 subscribers, more subscribers than many people will have, not anywhere, and the zip just broke off my... Wow, that sucks. <laughs> um, I have 13,000 subscribers, almost, sorry. A lot more than many people here are actually going to get. Against other people, though, with millions of subscribers uploading this video, why should I bother if they're doing it? Because everyone's going to find out from them, won't we? Because I've got some people on here who won't know about it, who will now know about it because of me. And that is why I'm doing this. 13,000 13, subscribers, I've helped 13,000. I mean, I've, taught, I've, I've spread it to 13,000 people. And that is me doing. I sent a bulletin out. I don't know who saw it. I don't know if you clicked the link because I mean, it was probably. I mean, I sent. I didn't send the YouTube link. I sent a different link because I was sent that link on Facebook and uh, I sent it through a bulletin. And then I don't know. I don't know. Probably maybe two hundred max watched it. But if the link was like V Video. I don't even know what it was. But probably very very doesn't doesn't look trustworthy. No commentary behind it. Obviously, no problem if you didn't click it. If you saw it and you didn't click it, that's fine. I'm not going to come over to that. It's just. Anyone who did watch it, I sent it out as a bulletin. Um, when I sent it out as a bulletin, not many people knew about it. And then boom, wake up the next day, everyone. It's literally the whole planet, in my opinion, now knows about this thing. And that is good. So, I don't want to waste the whole video talking about this. I know a lot of you are not interested in the slides. You are here for like a RuneScape update and bit talk about it. I will come on to the new update. Don't worry, but I want to cover this first because if I cover this near the end, people are going to be getting bored and just close the video. If I cover this now, you have something kind of to look forward to. But... Um, there are, the company, it's not company, the um, the group itself it considers themselves a non-profit organisation where all the money is going in, but I've actually seen some videos slash comments uh, saying that this is kind of like a scam, and I can see why, and I'm going to tell you what I think in a few words right now, regardless of if they are a scam or not, what they have done has gone viral, and everyone knows now, so even if they are even if it is a scam, which I don't think it is, what they've done is everyone now knows about the person that they are trying to tell everybody about. And I said that rather quickly. I mean, you could throw it into the lyrics of a song. It was that good. But everyone knows this guy. Everyone knows what is going on. Regardless of if it's a scam or not, what they have just told us all is still going on in the planet somewhere. We know it is happening right now. So... If you want to come to, like, if you want to make a video saying it's a scam, don't. They have done something, just, I don't even know. They, they have done something big. The people who created this, big. Leave it at that. They are asking to you for you to buy things to get you in. The usual donate a couple of dollars a month or whatever to the uh, this thing. But the video that's gone this big, I wonder how much they've actually made already. And I, I must agree, it must be a lot. But... They put that to use, seriously, every penny counts when it comes down to this, but people to really come out saying it's a scam, I, I don't really know what to say about that. I, I do not, by the way, just to quickly cover, I do not think it's a scam in the slightest, I don't want you to think that I'm thinking it's a scam. If you want to donate, I would recommend you do if you want to donate, because this, to make to go that big so suddenly, really, in my opinion, as I said, the most, the biggest video of like of all time, one of the most viral videos I've ever seen on YouTube, like I ain't seen that many videos, fine, but the the stuff it got in the time it's been up, cause I just got five minute logged out and my IP just showed on the screen and now I've obviously, I have to hope I cut that out cause otherwise you're all seen, I'll have to remove the video, but now I've got the uh, login thing, but sorry about that, I forgot what I was saying, now brilliant. Um, I think I was talking about how it could be a scam and all that, um, yeah, oh, I was covering how I do not think it is a scam, it, 
In my opinion, it's not. They're asking you to buy things which gets you involved in the movement, but this movement, as I was this movement, this movement, as I was saying, is big, it's huge, it's massive. Seriously, it's all I checked the Facebook in the video, the Facebook group has thirty thousand members, something around that. Check it and it's got 150,000 now growing. If you li literally go on the video and refresh it, it grows 10 likes every refresh. And a refresh takes maybe a second. Click that refresh a million times, 10 million likes. Okay, that's kind of pointless. But um, yeah, seriously, uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. I don't want to completely just waste your time talking about this topic because I know I just can't do it that well because this is something that's like beyond me. I mean, I'm playing a video game. If you've clicked on this video because you're searching about it, I mean, I'm playing a video game right now. I really do not know much about this you want the details the video i'm not linking it Kony 2012 search it yourself watch it yourself that's all i'm going to say okay um moving on if you clicked on this video purposely for the Kony stuff feel free to just close it because i'm going to go into some stuff that you are not going to have a clue about rune armor and you've all left just had to get rid of you guys um okay the armor updates the update the 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 oh, just look at that guy next to me what is he wearing on his head it looks like some sort of octopus or something this is that a bandos on the side with the neat helmet um my opinions of the armor uh of course change no one likes it i don't like it that much i haven't got used to it though i've been at dungeoneering in the last couple of days this is my first time leaving dungeoneering of course people do wear armor at dungeoneering but i haven't seen it in bulk I have done some fight kills though, and I mean, I was doing a fight kill at the time of the update, log in, and my average bag was just a chicken. I was like, what is this? I might as well just go cook that and eat it for 30 health points, but some of the- Is that rune armor, right? Is that Gothic armor or something right in front of me? It's horrific. It, oh, that's gilded over- No, that's the mining armor, never mind. Forget that, but... Of course, I'll get used to it. That's fine. I mean, I will get used to it, but... They haven't actually updated the rune armors or the looks of them since Classic. I've played Classic, I know what it looks like. The colour of the armour now is practically identical to what it was in Classic, in the um, the inventory. Really bright, which means it's probably burning my... I mean, I went into my tab and I went to the PK tab and practically everything had changed. It was ridiculous, but um, if you want my personal opinion of the update before I get into it and get sidetracked... Um, I'm not, I don't need graphic, I don't play this game for graphic. I've played this game before sounds even existed in this game, seriously, but... I don't need graphics, I don't play for graphics, all they do is make me lag. If you were watching the live stream at the time when I went in, I literally, I, I ran to Jad, froze, clicked back, as soon as it came back, bam, I was hit by a range attack. Luckily, I was on like 600 HP and survived, and then I finished off the kill on that one. I mean, I barely fail kills, it happens every now and then, but uh, all these updates are just bringing more lag into the game, which really, I mean, let's just say if we go back a couple of months, the bot nuke uh, affected everybody, everyone lagged slightly more, some less, some more than others, some less than others, obviously. And then some obviously like Mountain couldn't braid anymore because the lag was that badly. That definitely affected me. I definitely deteriorated in hybriding after that update. I mean, I look at some of my old clips that I've recorded and it's me doing five-way switches in like 0.5 seconds. Just ridiculously fast switching. You don't even notice it happening, taking my boots off and stuff. And then boom, this update comes, I drag everything. I, so I get the odd five way in, but then I drag everything. So the updates they are bringing in, they are definitely increasing the lag in the game. I mean, I... You, you can't, if, if, right, okay, you may have seen me, if you are subscribed to Sun Tankage, I'm sure many of you are, some of you are, it doesn't matter. If you saw me, I did get number one and number four in his uh, top ten unique PVM, killing two jads at once in two different ways on two different accounts and by myself in the fight kill. Um, if you're watching the number four, number five spot, it was a guy killing Zamorak, and the lag he had was ridiculous. And it just shows that you need a good computer to play this game now. Why? Seriously, I've been. I, I, I used to be able to play this computer on Windows 97 or whatever those really crap ones are now. I used to be able to play the game on that. I mean, I've been playing for about eight years, so eight years of computer software gaining. Now, my new computer can't even handle hybrid. This one has 18 gigabytes of RAM in it, and that's just. That's overkill, as many people say, and I still can't bring it. Okay, fine, I'm not the best hybrid, but I am a decent switcher, but lately I just drag. Although my mouse is broken, my mouse has actually been broken for about six odd months. I still breathe fairly well on the broken mouse. I will be buying a new mouse soon. I think I'm getting a good one. The one true bad ass is, but I was bought, talking, to, bleh, talking to a friend about this, and he said he was going to buy the same one. He said it was only 30 quid or something, so I mean, I'm, I'm willing to pay 30 quid for a mouse. It does seem kind of steep, but for a mouse that good, definitely. And I'll check out my hybrid. Maybe if it's increased, I can use some of my uh, uh, nudge nudge 10 million dungeoneering points on 120 dunge on it, but yeah, I don't understand the fact that you need a good computer to play this game. Seriously, this is just a, a Java game. All you should need is Java and you can play it fine without lag. But now, but if I take hybriding for the example, 
Uh, whoever has the better computer is going to win unless that guy is ridiculously awful. But still, there are clips out there of people doing five-way switches in 10 seconds against me and still beat me in the fight just because my account doesn't have the stats for hybriding. But if you have a good computer, you can switch fine. You can do your fake switches. Everything works perfectly. Yes, I'm Mike. Okay, here's an example. He breeds on 10 FPS and can hit all these switches so fast. My old computer, I could switch better on that than I can switch on this now. And I had... 2 gigabytes of RAM. Tesco K, he's been bringing on 1 gigabyte of literally 10 megabytes of RAM since he was born, and he's doing ridiculous switches. How? Oh, I don't understand. I wish I had my old computer, I could bridge better on that, but I mean, the nuke, the bot nuke must have completely killed me, seriously. But I mean, yes, I'm Mike, is still brilliant, so I mean, yeah, nice when you keep brilliant, mate. If you can, I mean, I can't take Britain and everything goes wrong for me, which is horrible, but yeah, I mean, you don't need the best computer to play the game, but when it comes down to that, the better the computer, the more chance you're going to have of winning. Seriously, I mean, why do you need such a good computer to play this game? Like, I mean, all of you watching this video, you can all agree this game is bad. It is bad. I can admit this game is so bad, but I'm so addicted to it. I don't know why. Probably because I played it for so long and I don't want to quit. I've got YouTube behind me. I've got a really good account. I've got all my goals I need to get. I mean, the goal that I've had for like since like 04, 05 or something was to get 99 Slayer. And I got that on my lowest level account. And I said I would never quit this game until I got 99 Slayer. And now I've got 99 Slayer. I don't have any. I have no intentions to quit unless I just completely fail at school, which I doubt will have results tomorrow. Oh my. Days, I will tell you all what results I get. By the way, I predict they have, I have the predicted results on my page raises. I'm predicting BAA, but I'll put end up when, when I feel like I've done good on an exam. I'm sure some of you uh, can feel the same thing here. When I feel like I've done good on an exam, DDF, <laughs> it's just gonna happen. I just know it. I mean, regardless of my results, I will tell you all. I really don't mind, but. Yeah, come back to what I was saying, I have no intentions of quitting the game, not just because of videos, even if I didn't make videos, I'd still be, I'd probably be, if I wasn't making videos actually, I probably wouldn't be PKing in the slightest, I'd just be maxing out, once I maxed out I'd be PK. well actually once I maxed out I'd be setting myself more goals, and more goals, and more goals, when I'm 57 years old, more goals, and that's when I'm getting 180 dungeoneering or something ridiculous like that, but, I forgot what I was saying, it just completely just went from my mind, it just, what was I talking about, something to do with being 57, yeah, so when I'm 57, okay, let's not go there. Um, I really did just actually forget what I was talking about. <laughs> it's just right in front of me, I don't know. Goals and motivation to play this game, yeah, seriously. The videos definitely do keep me in the game. I mean, the skilling vlog itself, this kills so much of my XP myself. I mean, I mean, does any, can anyone else commentate solidly for like 50 minutes? Fine, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting back doing absolutely nothing, just talking to myself. I can, I could talk to myself all day if I wanted to. Well, maybe not all day, but I mean, sometimes I want to do like a kiln vlog where I go in a fight kiln or something like that and I commentate the entire thing and then just, just end it and upload it, but I don't want to do that because I have to concentrate on things, which means the commentary is not as good, which is why I'm actually recording. I was going to record this video of C2 Fishing, but I decided that I wanted to do it here at the Rock Tales because I can just concentrate on what I'm saying more and I can really just bring the points in and talk about them. I still get sidetracked, but if I was C2 Fishing, all you'd be hearing is, go on, fish the stupid things. I have 20 minutes to clear a guardian door with the stupid primal mall. It's horrible. It's just, yeah. C2 fishing, the death, but it's good XP. I will definitely be doing C2 fishing all the way to oh, 99 fishing slash 120 dungeon. So time consuming on the dungeon. It takes me about like three hours to do one to 30, and then I leech the rest, and then obviously I need to do the rest. And it's just effort. I mean, if I did the C1s, it takes me 30 minutes to do C1s with a decent team. You just get some laws bound, and then there's just teams there saying C1s plus four laws. Dead easy, and then you have everyone running with primal two enders, and I'm there with my primal more like, <laughs> suckers. Like practically leeching from them, because as soon as I run in the room, everything's just dead instantly. Oh, I thought the primal mall was outside this game. Well, the Kaedic Mall was 99 strength and not 80 attack. To be fair, I really think they should add some more Dungeoneering rewards. They could really expand on some more, and then obviously we just need to add some, I don't know, let's think of something quickly. Like, okay, that was chaotic, like, Chaos Rapier, 60 attack, plus a million strength bonus. That'd be nice, but they could add some rewards. I mean, I am going to have, if I talk about my Dungeoneering, when I am done, I have literally nothing to buy from Dungeoneering. I'm 60 attack. There is no point in me getting 120 in the slightest except for the cape itself. So I'm probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave uh, the, the 8.9 mil, the 9, 8.9 mil tokens, 44 chaotic weapons, sat there doing nothing. The only thing I would do with those is buy arcane stream necklaces, but I don't enjoy hybriding. So unless they bring out something good for hybriding, I mean, I could just leave 
what I've got, and then if I need a new work engine because I've lost it hybrid, let's go buy another one. I mean, I've got 8.9 million tokens, what can I do? Buy a million chaotic staffs, risk loads of chaotics, do some third age bidding. That is something I was going to do before I just rage quit hybriding. Once I got my dungeoneering up, when I had money to get more chaotic staffs, I go third age hybriding, protect the top, whatever, which is like 100 mil, lose the bottoms, which is about 35. Lose the staff, not forced to buy the tokens. The stream, not forced. There may be 20 mil left in other gear. But it'd be a really good video. Has anyone done a third-age third hybriding live commentary? No. Which is why you have to work out what the niche videos are. Fill those gaps. Bam, all the traffic comes in. Million subscribers straight away. And that is my tip for becoming a successful YouTube. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And I'm joking. I was not always joking. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, when I'm dungeoneering, I'm going to have, like... 8 million tokens doing absolutely nothing. I mean, to those people who are looking to get chaotic, you're just probably looking at the screen like, Booty, Adam, almost famous, please kill yourself painfully. Because I have just slaved a year over small dungeons, 50 deaths a dungeon, to get my chaotic. And you have 8 million tokens you are spending absolutely nothing on! Die! Yeah, don't worry, I will die in the wilderness at some point. Episode 8, tomorrow, amazing, look forward to it, it's so good, I've actually watched it myself, I haven't even edited it yet, I've just rendered it in Camtasia, I threw the clips together and watched the video, <sighs> amazing, lame end though, lame end, but amazing video in my opinion, look forward to it, seriously guys, so, yeah, to all those looking for, Chaotix and Dungeoneering, please, just, you should just close this video now, well, actually it's too late, you've heard everything, but yeah, when you, when I go mobilizing armies as well in live streams, I go to my 8 million reward credits, everyone's just like, duh, you, I'm so jealous, Arr! because that is 40 imbued rings I have to do no work for, but to be fair, when I do lose those imbued rings, all of them, I can never use them again, unless I lose my elite mobilizing army shrug, I don't want to though, I highly doubt I will lose them all, I'm pretty damn protective on my rings, I did lose like 4 in a day once, let's not talk about that day, because it was a very bad day, although I was live streaming for charity on that day, and I made it in $166 to charity, and anyone watching this video now, who donated, Thank you. That's all. I can't, I mean, I don't have a clue who you are. I mean, the money didn't go to me. I don't know who donated what. It's gone straight to charity. If you did donate, you know who you are. Thank you for that. Okay, so if you've watched up to here, we are now about to troll some viewers. So get ready for this, guys. You do not need to load the screen up. You probably will if I think about this. I'm not going to put this video into Vegas. So I'm just going to say, right, if you've watched up to here, leave a comment saying something like, 3140 as is the time, like 31 colon 40, which means in the video, if you click that, it'll take you straight to the 3140 minute mark. Leave a ta leave that in the description and leave something like, um, I watched, um, so I, need, I need to think of a way to troll those people. You know when you put down a comment in the thing that's just like fish sticks and everyone comments it? When you re-scroll down and see all these comments that say fish sticks, you know instantly what that video is, so don't do that 3140. I need to think, I should have thought of this in, in advance, but leave a comment that says 3140, I watched Boaty's video up to here, and at that point in the video, I'm going to say it again, but I'm going to say, if you've watched up to here, comment 3140, I watched Boaty's video up to here. If you're listening to me talking right now, comment 3140, I watched Boaty's video up to here, and also throw in the comments something different, like, I don't know what to do. No, no it's not that, but think of something, you post something as well. Because at the 3140 minute mark, there will be comments that will say, 3140, I watched Bowie's video up to here. That will be the comment. Add something extra, I will know who's watched up to the 23 minute mark. And all those peasants have just been trolled. Very well done, that. So yeah, uh, 3140, I watched Bowie's video up to here. Or, yeah, I... Ah, that's a good one. I start, if you, Sorry, if you've posted that comment, delete it quickly. Just delete it, remove it, it won't make a difference. Post 3140, I watched Bowie's video past... Here at 3140, I'm gonna say comment. I comment 3140. I watch about his video up to here, and then we will troll people, boys. That is how we do it. Okay, guys, definitely comment that. Just to remind you, I'll type it in if you want to pull the screen up. 3140. I'll type. I watched. Oh my god, Boaty's video past here. Comment that, and then later on in the video, I'm gonna say up to here, and if that's there. People are gonna get trolled, so we know exactly who did it. But yeah, 3140. When I get there, I will. I'm gonna be watching the time, so I'm gonna quickly just say that really. So now I need to kill seven minutes of my video. Okay, what to talk about? <sighs> uh, oh my days! I know what to talk about. Right, episode seven. The ratings on that. The best ratings I've ever received on a video. I didn't ask for the. Oh, I need. I can't do that. 
don't want to be doing the reverse psychology like that. I mean, I don't do it purposely for that. I too say because it is literally the truth. But let's just say the ratings on that were amazing. It was like 700, almost 700 likes to 15 or so dislikes. That's amazing. That's like 40 to 1 ratio. That's like, I mean, my average video gets maybe 10 to 1 ratio. Occasionally I get like 100 to 1, but that's normally when I do actually ask for likes. But 40 to 1, that is fine by me, mate. I am happy with those ratings. Keep them up. They are brilliant. So. That's just all I wanted to say. That was just amazing. Seriously, I actually left a comment on that video saying these ratings are amazing. Seriously, that's just what I did. So, I'm sure what to talk about now. I kind of covered everything I wanted to. But I really wanted to put the main points towards the uh, the Coney thing, but I obviously need to kill a quick like ten minutes of this video. So if I quickly rapidly think of a topic while changing fishing spots, let's talk about. I'll talk a bit about Saturday server now. I know a lot of you really don't care about that because it's a hybrid unit on private service, but people are always telling me to try a new private service. The amount of people saying to play Matrix is kind of ridiculous, and then there's obviously, like, proportional to the amount saying play Matrix. It's like, don't play Matrix because it's full of Protoscape. Literally, log in. Virtus, Divine, Staff of Armadale, level 65 combat. See ya, mate. I am playing this server. I'm not playing that, but yeah, uh, I ref I'm not going to be downloading any more private servers at all. None. I'm not risking the fact that I could get ratted or keyloaded or anything like that. The amount that I will lose is too much. If they get access to my YouTube, bam. The amount that I'm getting trusted, seriously, you check my inbox. I do delete my inboxes quite a lot, which means sometimes I don't reply to people because I've accidentally deleted your message. I delete my inboxes because if I never did and someone hacked my YouTube, just scroll through all your messages. Oh, there's one fire kit detail. Oh, more fire kit detail. Oh, more. Oh, ooh, 100 sets of details. Bam, everyone. I mean, I mean, when people give me their account, some of them just don't bother changing the password because they know I delete the details and I never look back at them. You can literally leave your password. I mean, if I've done a fire kit for you a year ago, I don't know your password anymore. I probably don't even know your login name, but I don't write passwords down. I don't do anything like that. And for anyone that even dares to accuse me, I do not write IPs down at all. I don't even look at them. Maybe a glance, but I can't memorize it in a glance. I'm sure many of you will look at my IP, but to be fair, I really don't care. If I get DDoSed on this game, I'm, I'm probably, I probably won't laugh, depending on what I lose. I mean, if I lose my party hat, I'll probably go break something, but if I got DDoSed on this game, I wouldn't be happy. Actually, I wouldn't really care. That's the reason. I mean, I was really tempted at one point just to give my IP out in a video. Just be like, yep, there's my IP. DDoS me if you want. I don't care. I'm playing a game here. But obviously, it would end up bad for me because I'd be getting DDoS everywhere I went. And then all my videos would just be absolutely awful. And it'd just be a horrible thing. But yeah, there's also the fact that I wanted to give my Skype out to all my subscribers. But yeah, I don't want to risk it. Please stop messaging me about my Skype or any details like that because I don't want to give them out because I accidentally gave it out on a live stream and then instantly, like two minutes later, someone. PM me my IP and I was just like, are you serious? It's that easy to find my IP up, but yeah, uh, if you know my IP, keep it to yourself, please. If you want to like hit me off at the perfect time to make me lose some third age, feel free to wait until then. Don't hit me off if I'm PK and then ruin. It's just effort and I lose my defender and I get annoyed. But yeah, something I want to talk about now. Something that I've actually remembered on the spot here, but I've wanted to talk about for a while, and this is. RuneScape catchphrases, kind of, what you see a lot in the game. I'm just going to say one straight away, and you're all going to know what I'm talking about. Share IT bead. Where did that come from? Who was the first person to say share IT bead? You have started something here, mate, but that frog is amazing. What is it? It's a gecko. Holy hell, right. Dragon Scimitar. I like Staff, actually. Staff's the best, I think, there. Dragon Moose, baby chameleon, what a beast that is. But yeah, who the hell, my voice kind of cracked then, but, who the hell said share on TV first? If you still play this game, mate, you're a beast. These RuneScape catchphrases you see a lot. They're all, they are everywhere. I mean, I see a lot of them in Dungeoneering. GD Scape or GD Skep or GD uh, Lich, L-I-T-H. All these RuneScape terms that you see a lot. Where did they come from? Can you think of any off the top of your head? Like, I mean, Dungeoneering are fine. It's all coded words, like all acronyms to save time so you can key faster. Fine, I can understand that, but... Share IT read. That has got to be one of the biggest of all time. Who the hell said that? I want to know because that guy is just a hero by default. Oh, Share IT read. So beast, mate. I just, that's just bringing me back to the old days. Oh, Telebot, this guy. Dragon Skim at a loot. Share IT read. 30k split. You were buzzing over that 30k, mate. Oh, amazing. Whoever made it. What other catchphrases are I can't really think of any off the top of my head. There's so many. Gwaz. Gwaz. G the game was a success. I'm just, right, okay, fine. Somebody's may not have like reborn off RuneScape, but I found them out about it. I'm pretty sure Gwaz came out on a pro private server, Project Gwaz or something like that. Operation Gwaz, I don't even know. I'm chatting absolute tree right now, but 
Guaz. That's a good one as well. Game was a six. Where did that come from? People say it. I mean, if you watch Crow's latest video, he says it about ten times in a row. Guaz! That's so funny. That video is brilliant. If you don't already know, Crow1009 is my favourite commentator. You should all know that because I, I've watched all these videos. He needs to make more videos. I don't know if you're watching this, Mr. Crow, sir. Make more videos. Man. He said, I was actually talking to someone a couple of days ago saying that Crow would make a skilling video. I can picture it right now. Just Crow trying to hunt some chin chomp. He's like, why is the box? Falling down, no, I'd be so good. I would be. I'd watch it a million times, mate. I'd watch it a million times. Get partnership. I'd click every single link you've ever uploaded. A million pound for you, just from me, straight away, mate. Make more videos. That is how much I look forward to his videos. Seriously, guys, <laughs> he is so good. But yeah, Guaz, where did that come from? Game was a success. Fine, it's all over every game. I see it on Call of Duty now and stuff like that. But did Guaz come from RuneScape? Private server? I don't know. It came from somewhere, and now it is down. What's another one that I could quickly talk about if I can quickly think about one? Hmm. Can't think about one. I'm sorry, I can't really think about one. But I'm sure you know a fair amount of catchphrases to yourself. So, I mean, what's another one? Smited, maybe? Share. No, share's not right. All these things that you see. A guy's prayer drops, everyone will say smited. Someone. Smi prayer drops, and he. Someone dies for Void, good fight Void, straight away, nothing else. Good fight Torso, good fight Fire Cape, rip. I don't know, all these things you see all the time. Seriously, where did they come from? They're amazing. I wish I could make my own. I've, I mean, kind of working on my own. I mean, people say the word peasant quite a bit, clownfish maybe, but I mean, they're just words that I use, but GQ, good quickie. I mean, that might come from somewhere. I don't know, but yeah, I've been, I pretty much, I've been saying good fight since like forever. You know what? I will long, link in this video. No, I can't link anything because everyone will click it thinking this is the Coney video. I'll put it at the very bottom of the description if you want to see it. It's a link to a video that I made in 06 PK, really, because. It's, the, it's not uploaded by me, it's by someone else, but he downloaded the video that I recorded, really, and... Yeah, if you want to watch it, it's me PK in 06. It's really old, and I was about 12 at the time, so don't judge. And, you know what? If you've watched up to this, um, leave in the, the, the description... 3140... Alright, okay, let me go through this, right? Type in, right, load the screen. If you've got the screen down at the bottom, type in 3140... I watched, oh, you know what, you can just get out of my face, sir. I watched Boaty's video up to here. Comment that, and I will know that you've watched up to this moment, guys. Seriously, just do it, and I will know that you've watched up to here. Enough said, that's all I want to know. 3140, I watched Boaty's video up to here. Okay, so, I'm not sure what else to talk about, that's kind of it, I mean, I, the catchphrase is completely pointless, but I'm sure I've probably brought back some many memories, I have so many memories of this game I could share with you, but they just don't come to mind until certain points. The first time I hit 20 with a Rune 2 H, it was a good day, and I always thought that 19 looked like a bigger damage splat than 20. Please remove soaking now, Jagex. Overall, and that's the end of this vlog, not the longest, one day I will come up with the best topic in the world, and I will talk about it for an hour straight, and I will bring you a 17 hour vlog. I would love to see how many people come. And obviously, I'll put it twice in a video, so it's a 34 hour video. And then I'd set a challenge, watch the whole thing in one go while training. And I want to see the XPs killed on that. I mean, a lot of people will probably comment that on a video. I mean, would probably, I mean I've mean, i probably got comments already saying I would definitely watch a 34 hour video by you. It's no challenge. One day, I want to make a live stream where I play like a 50 hour Nyan Cat and I do a 50 hour live stream. So you have to put up with it as well as me. But. I have to put up with it more because I'll be doing a 50 hour live stream. But my parents always have a curfew at like 11 o'clock every day. What is that about? It is just lame. So I doubt I'll ever do. I mean, 24 hour live streams. I'd love to do some of those wherever. I mean, 24 hour live stream for charity. I could do that and make some money for the Coney thing. That'd be pretty awesome. But my parents are lame. If I actually discuss the situation, they'd probably let me. But. Yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I fished about two inventories of Rock Tales in 30 minutes, so you can kind of understand how... S well, the XP is fairly slow, but it's fairly afk -able. The only reason I do actually... Alright, if I tell you now, what do I do at the same time as training afk -able skills? This changes a lot now. It goes from Call of Duty, Runecore, Fight Kilns. I don't do Fight Kills anymore. Jads, replying to YouTube, editing a video... Doing work, I don't know if I said that one twice, I have short-term memory loss has blown me up, but watching TV series, watching movies, um, TV series are going to completely fail my A-levels, I already know that. I'm currently watching The Wire, if anyone's watching The Wire, feel free to talk about that a bit, but uh, it's a great series. I'm on, I've just finished series one, actually, so I'm working on series two, but after that, I need to watch The Walking Dead, I know a lot of you will watch that, I need to watch that. I need to watch Breaking Bad, and I need to watch Game of Thrones. And I might watch other ones. They're, they're the three I have to watch after The Wire. I need to watch those three. Like, regardless, I have to watch all these three. 
don't know what order, any order. I need to I need to finish the wire and then I will move on to those. Uh, I also need to watch uh, Freaks and Geeks, possibly Firefly. Hey, that one cancelled the Twilight Zone. I might try and watch that. I don't know about um, the Sopranos and Arrested Development. These are all the top-rated TV series of all time, by the way, guys. Don't know about those two. Don't. I don't really know. I want to get through these other ones first because all my friends are watching them as well, so I want to watch them with them. But I also, I mean, I had the challenge like before Christmas to watch like loads of the top 250 films as well. So I went through loads of amazing films. If you actually subscribe to my old channel, I had in the description like films watched in October, and I went through every film that I watched. I mean. I was going to say, people when they ask me to recommend them films, I always say Lucky Number Slevy. If you haven't seen that film, watch it. It deserves such a high rating. It's brilliant. One of the best films I've ever seen. Shawshank, obviously, can't beat it. It's too good. Inception, that is a good rival, though. I do like Inception. I understand Inception. I've always understood it, so therefore it's a great film. But, okay, kind of uh, getting sidetracked now. So I'm going to end the video here. I really do hope you've enjoyed this skill of I really think I got into this a bit too much. Let's just leave it at that. I mean, I've been screaming at my teeth. My screaming at my, you know, it'd be good if my microphone broke at this point and this like, everything was wrong and I had to record this whole thing again, but I think I've done a great uh, job on this vlog, so I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, feel free to leave the comment of the XP that I killed off for you if you tracked it. If you didn't track it, feel free to watch it again. So I'll see you all later, guys, and peace!